Hi, my name is Sterling Cobb, and I'm going to show you how to root your Samsung Fascinate by Verizon. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you got to do is download the SDK and the um, Fascinate.rar file. You can do that here at sterlingcobb.com slash archives slash 21. This is my blog um, where I show you how to uh, do this whole tutorial. So this can be found here if you like text. Download the SDK, uh, which is located here at developer.android.com slash SDK slash index.html. It's the middle one that says Mac OS X. All right, so download this. Oh, I apologize for the uh, noise. I live at a frat, and so I got a lot of people here. Anyway, um, the uh, download that, and then also download this fascinate.rar file. If you don't have an unrar for your Mac, you can download a free one here. All right, so download these files into a folder on your in your desktop called SF root underscore root. And the reason I do that is to keep everything kind of consolidated. Okay, unrar your fascinate.rar and unzip your SDK. Perfect. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open the terminal. If you don't know what a terminal is, um, I show you how to get to it um, on my blog. I have one right here, but you can go to uh, you can go to Finder, Applications, Utilities, Terminal. Perfect. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to change into the uh, uh, the correct directory that we made right here, this folder. We're going to change into this folder. Perfect. Now we're going to move the files that we um, just unzipped and unrard into the proper location. So we're taking all the unrard files and moving them into the unzipped SDK. So you do that with these commands. And you can actually just copy and paste. Perfect. Okay. Now you can see that the uh, the unrard files are no longer there because we just put them in the tools directory. So they're all located here. The next thing we want to do is we want to move this file into the Macintosh HD directory. We do that by just dragging it. It's going to ask you to authenticate, so click uh, authenticate and type in your password. Perfect. Now we can move into here and see that the file is located in this directory. You need root permission to be working this directory, so we're going to have to use the sudo command for now on. Okay, so what do we do? We change into the actual uh, directory, so the, uh, the directory we just moved. So we do that by typing cd, make sure you have the forward slash here, then perfect, and then tools, because we're going to the tools folder. Okay, after that, we're going to um, we're going to push these files to your phone. The make sure that you turn your phone off before you begin this tutorial, so that it doesn't have any processes in it while you're running the script on your phone. The, so the best way to do that is just leave your phone off until you get to this point. After, once you get to this point, turn your phone on, uh, and then plug it in to your nice shiny MacBook Pro, hopefully. Okay, so you plug it in. Um, it doesn't mount. That's important. So make sure it's not mounted. Make sure also your USB is in debugging mode. If you don't know what that is, go to my blog post and I tell you how to make sure it's set up in debug mode. Great. Next thing we're going to do is these commands here. So you can actually just copy and paste them in the terminal. It's going to ask you for your password. Just type that in. Perfect. Next. One. Perfect. And the next one. Voila. Perfect. Notice the sudo. Okay. Now we're going to go into the cell phone itself by typing in sudo dot forward slash a uh, b d shell. Oop. A db shell sorry okay 
Next, we're going to change into the proper directories. So the data local temp directory while in the phone. Then we're going to change permissions of the rage.bin file. Perfect. And then we're going to run the rage.bin file. It'll spit out a whole bunch of code. Hopefully it doesn't stall. Sometimes it does if you don't clear your processes out. But uh, as you can see here, because I turned my phone on and then I turned it back on, uh, off and then I turned it back on, it hung up here a little bit, but then spit me back out to my computer. Great. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to log back into the phone with sudo, actually the, the same shell command. Perfect. Now notice it has a, uh, a pound sign instead. That's good. That means that you did everything correct. Next we need to do this mount. Perfect. Then change the directories into your system.xbin. Perfect. And then we're catting these files over. I'm not exactly sure what these two commands... I know what the commands are doing. I don't know why they're doing it. Just copy and paste. It's the easiest. Then we're changing the permissions on these two files, most likely because we need to be able to use them later on. Okay, perfect. And then we just exit out of the phone. Perfect. Okay, this last part is in uh, where we are actually going to install the uh, application into our phone so that we can access root. Now, um, I had an issue because I had done this before, so if you've actually done this before, you're gonna, this is going to fail on you because you already have something installed. Here's a nice uh, Google group um, post I found uh, that talks, uh, and thank you Matt Collins for posting this, that talks about what you need to do to reinstall this application. This command right here, adb install with a um, r, worked for me. So I'm going to do that again. Great, it should just take a second. And as you can see, it says success right here. All right, perfect. That means that it all worked. Um, for some reason, my, uh, my computer doesn't spit me out of the actual phone. So I've found the best way for me to get around that is to just um, do control Z, which uh, spits me out and you're good. Go ahead and restart your phone at this point and you should have an application that is allowing you to use uh, root commands on your phone. So I hope this tutorial was really helpful. Um, feel free to leave comments, feedback. Uh, special credit goes to, um, to Corey. Uh, he's where I found this from. I'm only doing this video because I felt like there's some pieces missed, in particular the sudo, for those people that were running into problems like me. Um, so. I uh, hope he doesn't feel like I'm competing. If you need to remove your root, you can do these commands. Uh, this was very helpful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and I hope this helps somebody else, some poor soul that is uh, banging their head on their nice Mac. Okay, great. Thanks so much, and uh, later.